Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace today slammed Prince Harry for boasting about his Taliban kill count. The minister said Harry had let down former army colleagues by implying he's better than them in his explosive memoir Spare. I frankly think boasting about tallies distorts the fact that the army is a team game, Mr. Wallace told LBC. It's a team enterprise. It's not about who can shoot the most. In Spare, the wayward prince boasted about killing 25 Taliban fighters during his deployment to Afghanistan. Harry described viewing the men as chess pieces removed from the board. He said during an interview on U.S. television that he had included the details to help reduce suicides amongst Army veterans. However, it goes against the long-running soldier's tradition of not discussing kill count. After the interview was broadcast, a number of British troops suffering with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and their families came forward to say they found the information upsetting. Harry insisted while talking to Stephen Colbert, my words are not dangerous. Yet since he made this claim, the Taliban's leaders have called for the Duke to stand trial for his war crimes. Derek Hunt's son Nathan served with Harry in Afghanistan, but suffered badly from PTSD, and later took his own life. His grieving father told the Daily Mail. However he tries to justify his comments, what he said cannot be unsaid. This is too painful for too many people to be discussed so loosely in public. Veterans were not crying out for this debate. They have spent years trying to forget about the realities of combat, such as taking people's lives. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please, share your personal opinion with us in the comments section below. Thank you.